and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So today guys, we have such a fun video. We're gonna do like more of a like a style session. So specifically, we're gonna be talking about how to achieve Sophia Richie style on a budget. I am so excited, like guys. Ah! So before we get started, I do wanna kind of give a little bit of a background. As I'm sure you have noticed, Sophia Richie has really taken the internet streets by storm. It is super exciting to see. I think her stylist, first and foremost, who I wanna give a lot of credit to, Liat Baruch. I've also seen Liardi. I have not seen any videos with her specifically pronouncing her name or interviews with somebody pronouncing her name on her behalf. So please excuse me if I mispronounce it. It looks like she keeps a relatively low profile, which hey, more power to you sis. Just get paid and live your best life. But she's doing such a great job with her. And I think there's been a lot of like interest in terms of just the style, the stories that she's telling with her styles, just the evolution. And it's been a really exciting thing to see. She's doing such a wonderful job to the extent that she recently did an interview with British Vogue. And they asked her about her own style to describe her own aesthetic. And something that she said is, I'm a classic girl, classic cuts and sharp tailoring, often with menswear pieces. And then she notes, I'm very season led. And I think honestly, we have seen all of this come through with Sophia Richie style. I think it, there's been a lot of eyeballs on it because it seems like such a large transformation. But truly guys, when you do have a stylist, it's partially like, their vision but catered to you and who you are and your like personality so i think we've been seeing a great mixture of the two and that's what a good partnership to be honest really is um and i thought it would be a really fun time just to kind of focus on that but before even we go to it i do want to give a shout out to the originator og of this style and i don't even think she got a stylist and this is jasmine tukes jasmine tukes honestly for those who've been like heavy on Sophia Richie style, go look at Jasmine Tubes. She's been doing this for years, for a long time. I think this is just what she does. And she's gorgeous, she's a model, she's very influential, and whoo, she just knows what she's doing. And I just wanted to say that because we needed, we needed that to be known first. All right, so let's get started. So I specifically created a list with Zara in mind because I think they really cater to almost everybody's style no matter what your style embodies. And that's what I love. If you're a minimalist, a maximalist, whatever you wanna be, they got you. All of these pieces cost less than $150, actually less than $120, but you know, 150 is like a more solid number for people. Um, and most are even less than $100, so I'm very excited. There's about maybe 25, 30 pieces that we're gonna be going through, so I will go through them as quickly as possible. And if you guys wanna continue the conversation, of course, let's chat it out in the comments. So first and foremost, this long knit cape dress. It's the color, because we've been seeing a lot of color in Sophia Richie style, but it's the fact that it's so feminine. It's like that bodycon, but there's a little bit of like relaxedness to it because it doesn't like, you know, cinch in so much at the bottom. It's still like a little bit flowy. The cape, whoo. That's a gone with the wind fabulous type of dress right there. This is a type of style that I think we've seen her in. In my opinion, this is something that is very head turning. It looks so luxurious. There's a little bit of clavicle with that one shoulder line. There's that cape that is just gorgeous. It's giving award season. But since most of us don't go to award shows, including myself at the moment, um, it's very much like a beautiful like spring summer wedding moment. And I think beyond, but just keeping it with the present. I think this is like such a beautiful piece, guys. And the fabric looks to be very beautiful too. All right, next up we have the shiny buckled heel. The buckle makes this heel. We are in a time in fashion where people are loving all things sparkly. Everybody wants that little pizzazz, that little razzle dazzle. And these shoes for a person who wants to kind of maintain this very like timeless, classic style i think these are such good picks it's very much giving me that jimmy choo vibe i know he doesn't make shoes specifically like this but it is along those lines of those bing like mules that everybody loves and i think that's pretty cool all right another one this is a best of both worlds type of vibe we have pearls and we have crystals i think this would be so fun with a specific like suit I think this is great with like some shorts and a really nice 
t-shirt. This could be paired with a lot of things and it's kind of that one tension grabbing element to very minimal style and I think that they would be really fun. And it also is giving me the Chanel vibe that I know none of us would be mad about, you know? Okay, next, these. These like, these are my vibe. Now I love these, I love these so much. These are these heeled leather slides. Y'all know I love a slide. Um, a mule, there's like two very distinctively different things happening here, but it's come together. There's almost like, you would expect this to have a square toe, but it has a pointy toe, which makes it like a piece. It's, it, it gives it that moment. It's a little bit longer, so you can see what we're doing here. It's like, I, I've stepped outside and I'm coming for everybody with these shoes. Like they're just so, it's that understated elegance for me. It really is. They're not too high. They look like they're just about 2.1 inches and oh, I'm living for these shoes, y'all. These shoes, I'm, I'm gonna have to add them to my cart. These strappy toe post heel leather sandals, guys, Zara has made these in different iterations. A couple seasons ago, they had some tan ones, but these come in three different colors. It is just a classic sandal, but with a little heel. And I think these make every outfit like that much better. They're just so simple. They're so beautiful. And that's why I really like them. They are something that you can throw on. They go easily from day to night. So definitely that. We've been seeing Sophia in a lot of knits and I think this like cropped knit, basically kind of, I guess a little bit of a vest vibe, but like the sleeveless cropped knit is gorgeous. I love the knitting on it. I think it's like, it, there's something about it that's giving a little bit more depth than you usually see, but that cream color and the ribs at the side, and even how this model has it with like these jeans on. Yeah, I, I love that. And I think that's something that we've seen. So in this collar wrap top next, uh, anything with like a wrap usually is just so good. And the fact that it's like at the collar, but it's for the summer, I love things that have kind of like that mock neck. And I think this is something that we have seen with her style as well. It's a beautiful like gray color and I wish they had like a model wearing this one just so we could see a little bit more of it, but anything with like that crepey vibe and that's really simple and sleek like this, I think this with some black trousers, set it off, for real, set it off. I don't know why it's not showing me this, guys, and I'll make sure that I put the numbers for both, but this suit, we've seen Sophia in some beautiful power suits, and I think this one is so gorgeous. It's the color. It's like that really beautiful like pocket that's on the side of here. Like It's just so simple. It's relaxed, and the color is just, uh, it's giving. It just has just enough. It's not too much. But there's something that's just so beautiful about it. And they say the pants are high-waisted. Oh, I found this. Yes. I guess it was somewhere at the bottom. But in the blazer, same thing here. I, I'm living for this suit. It's so good. And again, we've seen her in power suits and really kill it. And I think that is something beautiful that we can expect to see more with her in it. This is also for the person who may not want to do the one shoulder vibe of that leg dress for the spring summer that I showed just a little earlier, this cape dress. But y'all, it's a vibe. I love this one. I think this would look so beautiful on someone with their hair just back. And we see that. Sophia likes to keep that like middle part, hair back, a lot of buns. This is definitely, when you wear this one, this is for the dress. And I love the color. It's like a beautiful muted rose pink color. And I think this will just, this to me gives me all seasons. And that's why I really like it. Um, and I like that it's a little bit more relaxed. It's not, it has a little bit of body con, but it's more like loose. It's just like very clean, minimal lines. And I think, I think if you walk around in this and you pass somebody up, somebody's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? This is beautiful. This, that's a show-stopping dress as well. All right, this midi dress in three different colors. I specifically am gravitating towards cream, but the cream, the white, and the black. We've seen this, guys. Zara keeps making these. It is the season for that midi dress. 
From what I've seen, Sophia Richie definitely pulls these off very well. And I just love the length of it. Like the length is just so beautiful. It really puts a lot of focus on like the body, but it's very much like, I'm not trying that hard, but I'm, I'm gonna stunt on them today. Like it's just that good and we love to see it. So I think this with maybe like one of the pairs of heels that I showed a little bit earlier could be a vibe, especially like the black, like I wasn't checking for this, but the black midi dress with that black heel that I showed earlier, oh my God, I can't even snap with this finger, but baby, yes, yes, oh my God. All right, we've seen her in a lot of beautiful accessories, guys. So these resin flower earrings to me are very much up her alley if you will embody that style. There's something that's still very fun um, and feminine. And like, I think this is the part that's very like youthful of her style, the way that she likes to just play with accessories. Um, same with these asymmetric serpent earrings. They're just fun, they're unexpected. They just level up outfits so easily. And I think these can definitely be worn a lot. These fan earrings as well. I know I'm going through the earrings pretty quickly, but we've seen a lot of statement pieces with her jewelry. And I think that's why she could, I mean, I don't have specific reasonings, but when you do keep the outfits minimal, you can really have fun with the accessories. And it goes such a long way. This satin effect flower bag is so gorgeous. It comes in green and pink. With Sophia Richie in mind, it's the pink. The pink is fire. Like, I like the pink for that vibe. Also, this metallic thread mini bucket bag, especially knowing how in metallics are right now. Again, we she said that it's season-led. So keeping the season's trends in mind, we've seen a lot of metallics, and I think this bucket bag is very much so a statement. And then along the lines of some of the Chanel that we did start to see her carry at the wedding, while I know this is not Chanel, we did see her with some pretty structured bags. And this box bag is so simple and beautiful. It's actually giving me like Gucci bamboo like vibes and for $59 I'm not mad at that next up we have these pleated tapered pants I love pants like this like we have seen in these few seasons especially with cargos being a thing I'm, I'm not recommending them for the Sophia Richie style but this is kind of leaning into that side like we've seen like these like you know pants with specific shapes really be a big thing this season and I think these would be wonderful and just so fun to pair with something really simple like a nice white t-shirt um, a really beautiful like sandal and heel the next thing too is the side cut out knit top again we've seen Sophia wear her knits and I think this one is just so cool it's given a little skin which I love for like these summer months but there's something still that's very classic all right, so the next thing, these linen blend straight pants and this like top with it. Y'all, y'all know I love a matching set. And I haven't quite seen this, but if I were to imagine her in a matching set, I think this specific one would be it. This is something that you can kind of pull apart and wear separately. It does come in multiple colors, but I selected the pink just because I've been seeing um, her and her stylist love for color and keeping that a big part of her wardrobe. And here is the blazer too, just so you guys can see that. Beautiful. Once again, with these like knits, we've seen her in some really fun, like kind of like chunkier knits though, but more for the season. And I think this is one, if you want to just give another layer, another piece of texture to the wardrobe, this would be a really good one. I don't recommend wearing it closed like they have it on this model. I think just open, but this like really classic like square shape blazer without a collar. I love blazers without collars and lapels, guys. And this one is just for the texture alone, plus the color, I think is worth checking out. So the next thing is this gold button blazer. I really wish this were a different color, but also seeing what I've seen so far, I do think this is very much within Sophia Richie style. There's something that's very, you know, simple about it. And I was trying my best to find like the most like Chanel inspired suit of this season at Zara. And they honestly did not do a ton of them. And I think this one does fit the bill the best. So yeah, this fitted crop blazer guys. It's, it's definitely given Sophia Richie. It's so beautiful, it's so cute. And honestly, they had this in cream as well earlier in the season and that just went like crazy. But um, I would say this is so cool. It is so classic and beautiful, so loving that. 
Also this pleated asymmetric dress. I think just the fact that it's hanging off of the shoulder, again, giving very, not much clavicle, but bunches up and kind of giving us those lines that we really love to see. I think this could be a really, really gorgeous, like daytime brunch outfit that the girls could wear and get a lot of use out of um, throughout this season. So loving that. Also, this denim bustier jumpsuit. I think all you got to do is like remove this belt and put on something that's maybe like leather with a gold buckle. Thin leather gold buckle would be a really cool vibe. Like I haven't seen her in something quite like this, but Sophia off duty. This is the vibe. Let, let's go. <laughs> All right, so these two are kind of similar, but do have some differences. So this like linen blend midi dress, I just like its beautiful like triangle shape. The back is gorgeous and something that's giving very vacation vibes. And also same here, this voluminous strapless dress. Another kind of like, this is more like daytime again, like we're meeting the girls for brunch. Oh, I didn't even know it has like a little it has like this little opening in the back, like a little vent in the back. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, we, we outside. We are outside with this dress, guys. Oh, this is cute. Just put on a really nice pair of heels and you got it. Okay, next is this strapless satin effect top. Guys, the way that this, the, it's the crossover for me. This crossover that, it, oh, you know, I haven't seen her in a ton of bustiers, but if she were to wear one, I think this is what we could expect to see. There's something about those lines um, and the shape of it that is just incredible. I actually bought this dress, guys, this voluminous short dress, but I like it in this beige color if we're going to think about her. But she also does wear a lot of color, so they do have it in red as well. But it's that tulip shape. Um, who made a really beautiful tulip shaped dress? Um, Oh man, guys, why can't I think about the brand right now? Valentino, like this is giving Valentino for not Valentino prices. It almost gives you like this hourglass shape if that's what you're looking for. And it's just so gorgeous. All right, so now we're on vacation with this cutout crochet dress. This cutout crochet is just beautiful. And we've seen her on vacation, like honeymooning with her husband. And I think this is something that you can definitely wear like when you're out on the beach, but you wanna like go have a quick dinner, you wanna take a break and just cover up and like maybe go to a restaurant, go outside like around the town. This is really a good option. The next thing too is this crocheted knit top. Ah, I've seen her and stuff like this. Now this is really cute. I think this would be so fun. Um, I love it with the shorts, how it's styled here. But honestly, I think this is something that you could do a lot with. And I just love how it looks. There's something that's just so like feminine. It's very soft. And I really like that. Like soft like loading. Hey, especially in that top. The last thing, guys, I know I've been talking for a while. This asymmetric hem bustier. Look at that asymmetric line. Look at that. I don't even like it with this shirt on. I don't recommend that for the style for her with the shirt on, but this is just beautiful. We've seen this style too. I think Kate has something like this currently. And guys, just the color and the shape that it gives the body. Oh, ooh, that zipper. I didn't even see that part. Oh, this is good. So guys, yes. Guys, I know that was a lot, but I just thought this was so fun. And I always love to help people shop and style when I can. So guys, I hope this gives you some ideas of really cute pieces for the spring summer on a budget, especially if you as well have been admiring Sophia Richie style. Also guys, I thought this was just so fun. So if there's anybody else you guys want me to do, let me know. I've been thinking about Tracy Ellis Ross because she is, whoo, she is like the style icon, okay? But just let me know. Happy to continue conversations with you in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload. I'll chat with you later. Bye.